That's a meteor. I'd be dipped in shit if that ain't a meteor. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and comfort you and lift you up and give you peace. Amen. Of that place. You bet. See you there. Come on, Mom. We don't want to be left on the side of the road, do we? Boy, I hate these side of the roaders. Huh. They're not like this on the Indiana side, let me tell you. Drive the bus and put your mouth in neutral. How does that sound? Does that yeah, sound okay? Yeah, yeah, you can't talk to me like that. Taking the rap on this. I lock this place up every night. It's not my fault if every pervert, weirdo, well, don't talk to horny me. Go talk to someone in charge. I'm busy. Buddy. Yeah? Listen. It's not my fault if every horny kid and weirdo, pervert comes in here. I lock this place up. I don't need this action. Okay, don't talk to me. Talk to the sheriff. I checked six or seven times. Sheriff, hey. Not now. You okay, ma'am? Um, of course I am. Why? Well, you were having a bad dream. Must have been a real wowser by the sound. Is it about him? The walking dude. Uh, I, I don't remember. We're making real good time. They must have cleared the road all the way from Julesburg. How long do we get there? Two hours, three at the most. Look, you can see the mountains. Nuts, you know it. There won't be anybody else in here this winter. It is winter. It's early, but it is here. Now be careful. It could be Stu or it could be. Hell, it could be anybody! Hey! Who is it there? You guys identify yourselves and we're gonna shoot! It's them! It's them! <laughs> Stu! Hey, Teddy! <laughs> Tom hey, coming! Bobby. <laughs> Man, I don't believe it! What happened to your legs, Stu? Uh, broke it. Never mind, never mind. We're frozen. Let's get in the truck. 
Then I want you to take me home to see Franny. What? Come on. Uh, what's wrong? Stu? What is it? I don't exactly know how to tell you this, Stu. What? What is it? Well, it's the baby. It's come early, and it's got the flu. Your report, Craig. Tell us how much money you made for us. You want to know how much money I made for you? You want to know how much money I made for you? Yeah. I'll tell you how much money I made for you. I didn't make any... No, Craig! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Tell them you lost the money, but it was a mistake, an accident. No! I didn't make any money for you. I didn't make any money for you. I lost money for you. I lost money for you. I lost $43 million, and I did it deliberately. I did it deliberately. I did it deliberately. <laughs> of horror and the macabre are you working on now? No, I don't feel like writing horror right now. Oh, that's too bad. I'm working on a biography of Benjamin Franklin. He's a fascinating man. He discovered electricity and used it to torture small animals and green mountain men. And that key he tied to the end of a kite, it opened the gates of hell! Well, let me know when you get back to horror. Will do. Chicago way. He had a boogie style that no one else could play. He was the top man at his craft. And then his uncle came up and he was called for the draft. He's in the army now. I'm blowing rapidly. He's a boogie woogie bugle bar company B. They made him blow a bugle for his uncle Sam. It really brought him down because he could not jam. The captain seemed to wonder. Loaded for Reardon, large with two six pack soap soda. Yep, thank you. I told you there might be something you'd like better. Loaded. Excellent. Miss Asbury. May I? Okay. <laughs> Do this often? Every chance we get. How much? Hey, this is some place, huh? Is it haunted? Yeah. But it goes to delivery men who ask too many stupid questions and never escape. for Amelia Nate. Hey, he's giving her a ride home.
This is what I need. Most of this stuff's in the garage. I'll send Tara out for the rest. Okay. How's the drain in that slop sink? I think it's fine. Good. I'm in the mood for some music. 80s. I'll make that happen. Refill edge. Thanks, son. Mm -hmm. What's that understanding, Brady? <sighs> that. Can I help you? Uh, yeah, I want to see about the... Baseball card. The bowling ball. The banjo. Viva. Fucking bike. If you want to use that kind of language, take it out in the street. So I'm sorry. Can we just start over and pretend that I just walked in? How can I help you? Thank you, yes. I want to buy the bike. Aren't you William Denbro, the writer? Yeah, that's... that's me. That bike? It used to be mine. Well, it's mine now. But you're the big author. You want it. You can afford it. <laughs> All right. How much? Three hundred. You can afford it. I'll get it. I guess that's kind of a deal. You uh, want me to sign it for you? Nah, I didn't like the ending. Uh, big ones. All yours. I don't know how fast you'll go. Been there a lot of years. You know what, mister? She was fast enough to beat the devil. 